Hi guys. How are you today? Hello guys. How are you today? Guys, are you there? Hello, hello. Hello, Alfredo. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Raquel. Hello, Liliana. In a couple of minutes, we will start to um, with a new lesson. Just give me a second. I need to close another thing. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's time to start with the lessons. Um, I will share my screen right now. Uh, today, we will start at the uh, section three. Just let me know something. Who has access right now to the platform? Guys, who has access to the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay, right now, I will share right now my screen and after that, please uh, try to follow in uh, the steps in order to try to finalize at least at 3.4. Okay, today we will learn about demonstrative white shopping. En esta clase, señores, nosotros vamos a aprender los pronombres demonstrativos mientras las personas compran. Before I start, I would like to know somebody now what's the meaning of pron demonstrative pronouns? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Alfredo? Yes. Um, oh, I don't remember. Se te escucha medio cortado, Alfredo. Creo que debe de ser la tormenta. Well, right now in this video, uh, the girl uh, will explain you a little bit more what are the demonstrative pronouns. Just give me a second. I will play the video right now, guys. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please Can pay you attention. Listen? Yes. yes. Thank you. And try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. Okay, before continue, let me express a little bit uh, what are pronouns, demonstrative pronouns. The, mo the demonstrative pronouns, yes. 
No sé si es solo conmigo que tengo como congelada la pantalla. Realmente así es el video. Eh, yo veo la pantalla de Home Mash, Home Mini. Okay. Así es el video. Ah, Espérame. ok. No, este es, permitime que tenés razón. Yo igual solo veo How Much, How Many. Permitime. Vamos a compartirlo así para que puedan ver. ¿Pueden ver ahora el cambio hacia el video? Oh, yes, hoy sí. Oh, oh sí, sí, vale. sí, así. Antes de seguir con el, la presentación de esto, si se, la presentación, quiero mostrarles algo. Los pronombres demostrativos son this, those, this, that. I need that you repeat after me, please. This cows. This cows. cows. Those pigs. Those this baby. This baby. This baby. That teacher. That teacher. Those grapes. Those grapes. This flower. This flower. This shoes. This shoes. That backpack. That backpack. Okay, let me explain you a little bit more. Okay, this is using for plurals, the same of those. The pronoun of this is those. Okay, it's for plurals. What's the main difference between this and those? Because this is close to you. Let me give you an example. Just give me a second. Okay. Look at this. This is my cell phone. I can see, you can see, hey, that cell phone, that's the cell phone of the teacher. This is one of the, the sentences. But why that? Because it's so far of you. Está lejos de ustedes. Ahora bien, con this. Let me try to use this, those mouse. OK. Para mí. OK, permítanme un momento. Vamos a ver que no se mira bien. ¿Alcanzan a ver los mouse? En sí. mi pantalla. Bueno. Yes. Para mí, estos son this. This mouse. ¿Por qué? Porque están cerca de mí. Para ustedes viene a ser those mouse. ¿Por qué? Porque están lejos. Eso es conforme a plural. Ahora hablemos sobre singulares. Those and that, perdón, eh, antes de eso, those and that son para pasado. And this and this son para presente. Y también puedes ocupar el dos en presente, pero en muy rara vez, en excepciones, cuando está lejos. Ahora bien, this baby, el que te parece aquí, es, si te fijas la manita, está cerca, casi tocándolo. The same one on this flower. Estos son singulares. Una cosa. Pero ¿qué pasa con los zapatos? ¿Por qué los zapatos son this, choose? ¿Por qué ocupo el otro this? Porque es plural. Exacto. Son dos zapatitos. It's something totally different if I say it. this control or this remote control to this mouse. What happened, for example, if, let me give an example with someone here. For example, Alfredo. Imagine that Alfredo has his camera on and you can see a picture behind him. What would be the correct way to say, hey, the picture? What would be the, the best way to say, esa pintura? Que 
como esta es la pintura mía o como eh, no, es un ejemplo, imagínate Alfredo hay, o oh, imagínense guys hay una pintura detrás de Alfredo exactamente detrás como dirían esa pintura que está detrás de Alfredo that eso es correcto. That picture, that picture, that picture, that picture behind Alfredo, that picture behind Alfredo. Ok, esa sería la forma de decirlo. Ahora bien, vamos a volver a ver el video y en este video se nos va a explicar un poco más. Hi, we're now in section 3. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm... Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your... It's your birthday. Okay. Ahora, hablemos de esto. Look at this part. The first one. Who can read Stephen? Who can be a student for this? Álvaro, can you be a student? Puede ser Steven? Puedes leer lo que dice Steven? Yes, yes. Steven. Uh -huh. Oh, look, look at those earrings. Earrings. ¿Sí? Earrings. Earrings. E earrings. 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 Me uh -huh. Maria. Maria. They they be perfect for you. They're Perfect for you. Uh, I would try. Intentémoslo otra vez. Oh. Okay. Oh. Look at. Look at. Uh, look at. That, look at those. Look at those. Look, look at, at those. Erin. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, look at those. Erin. Maria. Oh, look at those. Erin Maria. Rápido. Look at those. Erin Maria. Look at those. Erin Maria. They are perfect for you. They are perfect for you. Uh, remember, guys, that part there, you can say also there are the correct pronunciation, uh, the best way to express in a formal way, it will be there are. When you are talking about or with um, on your work, job, or with a colleague or in a meeting of, uh, of your work, the best way will be without contract, contractions. Ahora bien, si se fijan, ¿por qué le dijo Steven those earrings? Why? Son dos razones. Son plurales los, son aritos. Plurales. That's the first one. What's the second one? Uh -huh. Los tiene cerca. No, los tiene lejos. Los tiene lejos, perdón. Exacto. Who can be María? ¿Quién puede ser María? Yo. Okay. ok, ¿quién dijo yo? Perdón. Liliana. Ok, Liliana, por favor. Pero me corrige, Le... me corrige. Porque... Perdón, claro, claro, te vamos a... aquí estamos para aprender. María. María, en este one, I'm not sure. Oh, vale, perfecto. Eh, lo pronunciaste bien, pero dale entonación. This red ones. Ah, okay. This red ones. I'm not sure. That's right. Remember, guys, uh, today uh, we will practice a little bit also. This is an advertisement, un pequeño anuncio. Vamos a procurar pro, uh, practicar un poco la pronunciación de corrida. El inglés no solo es hablarlo por hablar. Tienes que darle una entonación para que tenga sentido. Y eso va a ser uno de los temas que vamos a ver esta semana, señores. Ahora bien, perfect, Liliana. You did a great job. Ahora, I got a question. Why Maria used this? 
Por que Maria ocupou this? Why? Porque é singular. Não. Maria está mais cerca. Está mais cerca. That's, oh. that's the main point. Remember, the this with the two e, or say the letters e, or the long one, it's for plural. Always plural. Those and these are plural. But the main difference is because Maria is touching the earrings. Look at the hand. Look at the Maria's hands. This. Ella los tomó. Dijo. It says something. Ah, these earrings. The re these red ones. I'm not sure. Dijo. Pero los barro. Okay. Next one. Steven. <laughs> Se me corrió Steven. Voy a necesitar otro Steven. Who would like to yo be puedo, Steven? Yo puedo seguir siendo Steven. Claro, claro. Pero si alguien más, alguien más de los chicos quiere ser Steven. ¿Qué tal, José? ¿Quieres ser Steven? José Ángel Gómez? Would you like to okay. be Steven? Ok. Read the second one, the, the Steven. No, no, the yellow ones. No, the yellow ones. No? No, the yellow ones. That's right. Why? Why it's necessary making a, a pause there? Because it's a comma. Remember? No. The, the yellow, yellow one. ones. That's right. But you did a great job at the beginning. No, the yellow ones. Uh, someone else would like to be Maria? Yo. Yo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, eh, primero Andrea y luego la siguiente, la segunda chica que dijo yo. Va a ser la siguiente. Va. Oh, uh -huh. this. Oh, this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Okay, again. Oh. Oh, this. this? Mm. Yellow, yellow isn't... isn't really a good color for me. Mm, a kind of. The second part. Yellow isn't really. Yellow isn't really. A good color for me. Yeah. But try to repeat after me. Yellow isn't really. Yellow isn't really. A good color for me. A good color for me. Ahora, one more time. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. That's right. You are doing great, guys. Okay, next one. Next, Steven. I need another Steven. Mm. Okay. Yo? Mm. Ah, okay, you, Andrea. You could be a Steven. Uh, Sandra. Ah, perdón, Sandra, lo siento. Es que se me mueven los nombrecitos, Sandrita. Lo siento. Okay. 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 Well, well, that necklace isn't bad. Okay. Repeat after me. Well. 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 That's right. Uh, that nickel. That nickel. Isn't bad. Isn't bad. Again. Well, well, that nickel isn't bad. That nickel isn't bad. One more time. That nickel isn't bad. Well, that nickel isn't bad. Mm. What? Well, just one more time. Forget the well. Solo diga okay. desde that hasta bad. That okay. nickel isn't bad. That nickel isn't bad. Nickel. Nickel. It's because why is nickel? Es collar. Nickel uh, that's right. Nickel viene de la palabra neck. Nickel. Nickel. Nickel isn't bad. That's that nickel, nickel isn't, bad. isn't bad. Thank you. You did a great job, Sandra. A good, good job. Okay. Who will be the next Maria? The other girl that say yo? Yo, yo. <laughs> okay, Joanna will be the next Maria and Liliana will be the next Steven. Okay. Maria? Which one? 
Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay. Pares. Which one? That's right. Cuando no sepan o cuando sienten que se traben pronunciando algo, leanlo y procuren leerlo por partes. This is an advice. For example, which one you can say at the beginning, which one? And try to practice until you can read the complete sentence once. Hasta que lo puedan leer de una sola vez. Okay. The next Steven. That's blue. One read. Y se me movió la pantalla, perdón. Lo siento, lo siento. That's blue. Hey, otra vez. That's, that's blue. One. Right that's there. That's blue. One ring there. Okay. How that, much? Uh, I, I will help into you. That. That. Blue one. Blue one. Right there. Right there. Okay. That, that blue one, blue. that blue one? That blue one? Right there. Right there. One more time, that blue one right there. That blue one right there. Yes. That blue How one much right is, there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How much is it? Is it? How much? It? How much is, is it? it? How much is it? I love that pronunciation. How much is it? How much is it? You, How much is it? You are giving it a meaning with your intonations. It's like a question. Es como cuando le pregunta, ¿cuánto cuesta eso? It's the same one. Who remember the WH word? ¿Quién recuerda las preguntas con WH? Lo vimos la semana pasada, un poquito, y hablamos sobre how much. What's the meaning of how much? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? En este caso es cuánto cuesta. How much? How much is it? If you want to know the price of something, you just need to say, hey, how much is it? How much is the TV control? How much? is that cell phone? How much is that picture? You can say that, and it's the best way to say it. Also, remember how much it's for... Mm -hmm. How much is for? Okay, move this. Uncountable. Recuerden, how much is uncountable? Solo son para cosas que no se pueden contar. Pero ¿por qué ocupamos how much para preguntar precio? Fácil, porque el dinero no se puede contar. Nosotros podemos contar la moneda o los billetes. Pero en sí la moneda, hablando literalmente un ejemplo como las rupias, el euro, el dólar, los yenes, suelen fluctuar su valor, el, el valor que tiene. Por eso ocupamos how much. Ok. Continue with the practice. We will do. Uh, I will need another people, another person who will be Maria. Alvaro, would you like to be Maria? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. It's 42. It's 42 dollars. Read that. It, it's 42, that's expensive. And remember, you are forget something. The dollar sink. Si ustedes okay. miran it's el 42. signo dollars. It's 42 dollars. It's 42 dollars. That's right. Thank that's you. expensive. That's expensive. Está caro. That's expensive. That's expensive. Yeah, that's right. It's, está caro, como dijeron ahí. It's, it, that's expensive. Dale la entonación como que de verdad lo sientas caro. It, that's expensive. It's that's $42. Expensive. Yeah. It's $42. It's 
That is mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. Who would be the next Steven? ¿Quién quiere ser el siguiente Steven? Jennifer, would you like to be the next Steven? Okay. Hey, let me get this for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Yes. Repeat after me, Jennifer. Hey. Hey. Let me get. Let me get. It for you. It's for you. One more time. Hey. Hey. Let me get it for. Let me get it for. You. One more time. You. Hey, let me get it for you. Hey, let me get it for you. Next one. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Present. Present. It's your birthday present. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's right. You are doing great, guys. Your birthday present. Okay. Happy birthday. Right now, we will continue with the next one, guys. The next one is about this, this, that, and those. As I mentioned, guys, and I show again this picture, these are for plural. Uh, if you are using the verb to be to say how many calls are there, how will be the answer? Si yo les pregunto, ¿cuántas vacas hay aquí en el cuadrito? Two. There are two mm. cows. Two cows. Recuerden, cuando hablamos de plural, en verbo to be es are. Cuando hablamos de singulares es is. En este caso, there are two cows. The second one, how many pigs are there? Yes. ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos cerdos hay aquí? There are three pigs. No. Remember? And those. Those pigs are three. Podría decirlo así como, hey, esos cerdos son tres. Ah, ese. Mm -hmm. Those pieces are three. Um, ¿Qué otro podemos ocupar? And what about this? I got a question. ¿Por qué en este ocuparon those? En el de las grapes. Plural, aquellas. Mm -hmm. Recuerden aquellas que las uvas. uvas. Mm -hmm. Those grapes, aquellas uvas. Y ocuparon dos, uno, porque son bastantes. El reci no están contando solo el racimito. It's not just one grape. Uh, those grapes. Those grapes. How much those is grapes. those grapes? Repeat it after me. How much are those grapes? How much, How much are grapes. How much are those grapes? <clears throat> those grapes. Congratulations, guys. Next one. To clarify that, I will show you another video. Is this. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first. Try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. Antes de seguir, ¿se fijan la diferencia? This and that. This is because 
he has the knuckles in the hands. For example, this is my cell phone. But what about if my cell phone is on my desk? That's my cell phone. Why? Because I'm not touching my cell phone and it's not close to me. Is the same one? On plural. Those and these. Those and these. This is when you are, it's close to you. Our plural, for example, these are my earphone. But what about right now? Those are my earphones. Do you got it? ¿Le han entendido? ¿O tienen duditas? Ahí vamos. Ah, it's not a problem, Joana. Take it easy. I will send in to you some picture about this class tomorrow and also another picture about the class of tomorrow. Okay, we will continue with the video. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers and they replace the noun in question. Ahora bien, hay algo que les quiero mostrar aquí. This, $59. This. When you are talking about money, always, but always, it's necessary said the difference between dollar and cents. Europe and cents. Yenas and cents. Rupias and cents. Colones and cents. Why? Because if you said, ah, it's just $59.95. Puede que piensen que se cuesta $5,995. For that reason, it's necessary always said, ah, it's $59.95. And cents. Um, I will giving to you another example later, right now. I will want to explain that part and also this one. ¿Qué significa near? Near. 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 Esto. Yes, near y fair. Far. Near es cerca, far yeah. lejos. Um, okay. ¿Quién ha visto Shrek? La dos. Far, far away. Mm. Far, far, far away. That's right. Muy, muy, muy lejano. Far, far, far away. Far, lejos. Near, close to you. Ya me Okay. Right now, why we can use one when we are talking about for a Exactly think. For example, is that your car? Which one? Qual? The red one or the blue one? Why red one? Because it could be more than one red. If you said, ah, the red one or the blue one. It's to make a difference between others. Okay, right now, it's time to test. We will make this test 
together. And after that, I will give it to you a couple of minutes in order to make the test on your platform. I will read the instruction. Instruction, look at the picture below and complete this conversation using the demonstrative one and once. Excuse me, how much? What is the answer here? Are those? Are those jeans? Which? ¿Cuál sería? Why? Why once? ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué sería plural? Because the second question is plural. Eh, half and half. Maybe. <laughs> eh, si se fijan, excuse me, how much are those jeans? The first question is about jeans. And jeans always has to be plural because it has to leg. For that reason, when you are talking about jeans, are plural. Oh, that jeans. Si se fijan, no dice jean. Jeans, con ese el final. Porque los jeans, de por sí, son plural. Which one? Which one? Do you mean this? No, the light blue. One, once, or is. Once. No. Ah, no, right no. now, right no. now we, right now we can make mistake. Don't worry, guys. Va. Algo que creo y veo que no nos ha quedado muy claro la diferencia entre one and once. Así como pueden ser un par de zapatos, tú puedes decir eh, the the red shoes. Which ones? Porque estás hablando de plural. Ocupas once para diferenciarlo de los demás. Pero cuando... once. Yeah. Aquí. They eat we. They. That's right. Why? Because... The verb to be is telling to you that are plural. Siempre fíjense en esto. Ahora bien, pero ¿por qué no we? Oh, because it's not include to me. No los está incluyendo. Si no los incluye, es there. Si son obviamente más. Si es plural y son varios y no están incluidos en ellos, es there. Y si es un grupo pequeño, es you. And also use are. Next one. I left that backpack over there. How much? They, there. Oh, I like that backpack over there. How much? Is it? That's yes. right. Look at this. Aquí te di una pauta. Mira. Dice that. That. ¿Y qué dijimos que era that? Eso. But it's singular. It's a singular noun. That is yes, singular. Vaya, fíjate en eso, solo son reglas. That, this, el que lleva la I, y solo una S, esos son singulares. Y si son singulares, vas a ocupar siempre is. Ahora, those, and this, el que lleva la E, S, E, al final, esos son plurales. Para los plurales siempre es are. O en su caso, si ocupas el verbo do or does, va a ser plural does. No, perdón. Singulares does y plurales do. Obviamente que hay secciones como you y I que vas a ocupar do. Pero eso lo veremos luego, chicos. Aquí, which one? One. One. The red one. Which one, the red one? 
You are doing well, Alvaro. It's twenty-seven dollar and fifty cents, but the green one, one, one. It's only twenty-two dollar and twenty-five cents. Repeat after me. It's it's twenty-seven dollar. Twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. 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 Fifty Hi, teacher. Hi, Cristina. Can you help me? <laughs> okay. Um, ¿Me puedes ayudar? Vale, solo quiero yeah. que me leas esta cantidad. A ver, sería... 59.95 cents. No. Ah, ¿quién dice algo más? ¿Quién quiere participar? ¿Alguien le quiere ayudar a la, a la compañerita que sí? Va, ayúdale. 59 dólares en 95 cents. 95 cents. You doing great. Remember, always, but always that you see a dollar sign add that. $59.95. Okay, right now it's time to verify, guys. Hey, that's for you. You are doing a great job. Right now, I will give it to you three minutes in order to do this part on your platform. And I will place right now my temporis, temporizer. Veo que hay compañeros suyos que están teniendo problemas. Permíteme un momentito, guys. Es la lluvia. Sí, está, está lloviendo. lloviendo. Por, to por todos lados está lloviendo ahora. Ah. Tell me that in English. It's raining. It's raining for the old places. It's raining everywhere. Everywhere. It's raining everywhere. It's, it's full of the raining. Full of it the is, raining. It is full of the raining. Oh, it's full of the raining. Es culpa de la lluvia. It's full of the rain. But right now, Please, guys, I need that you be focused in this part. Let me know when you be ready to continue. Me dicen cuando haya terminado, guys. Ahorita solo déjeme ver algo. Listo. Pero lo podemos hacer luego, teacher, porque yo estoy del celular ahorita. Claro, claro. Pueden hacerlo luego. Pero sí les recuerdo algo. Eh, yo sé que la vez anterior yo les había dado más tiempo para terminar la plataforma. Si por mí fuera, les diera hasta el domingo. Pero eh, nosotros tenemos una calendarización. En that calendarization, it's until Tuesday. Thursday, sorry. Thursday. Until Thursday. For that reason, I am helping to you to make this. If you don't have access right now to your cell phone, to your platform, don't worry, it's okay. Take a picture. If you have doubts, just ask me. Okay, right now, I will continue, guys. Let me verify how many times. 
Le voy a dar solo 30 segundos más. I will give you 30 seconds more. 25. 20. 15. 10. 5. And over. Okay, we will continue, guys. The next one. In this lesson, participants will to listen sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Lo que hablamos ahora, guys. Cuando vamos a hablar en inglés, it's not just to say the things with a flat voice. You have to provide a meaning. To start with this, this is a, a beautiful aim. And first of all, the most important is understand what is war stress. The war stress, it's the, the force that you make at the moment to pronounce some words all words that had more than one syllable have word stress one syllable is longer and louder than the other english word has its own rhythm ritmo this is reading ritmo this is, that's the meaning of reading word stress can play an important role of correct pronunciation of English word. For example, China. Repeat after me, China. 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 La fuerza va en cha, chai, chai, China. Ahora, commitment. O commitment. Commit. Okay. The C. C. Uh -huh. eh, la azul. Eh, meet. Come meet. Sí. Come meet. Come meet. Eh, sí, Come al final. Meet. En medio. Este lleva, lo lleva en medio. ¿Pero por qué? Because this word China just has two syllables. But commitment, commit has three. It's in the middle. The second exam, the third example, shows you again. How can pronounce this word? Slender. The complete word, please. Slender. 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 That's right. Slender. Again. Slender. La, la fuerza va al inicio. Ahora, I need another volunteer. And let me verify who will be the next one. Yo. Vaya. Roxy, it's your time to chime. Revelation. Revelations. <clears throat> Revelations. Remember, make the strength or the force in law. Revelation, lation. Revelation. Okay. Revelation. Uh, there is Revelation. another example. It is, it is a beautiful aims as I mentioned, but it's a little bit difficult. I need that all of you try to try to study the the picture that I will send in to you tomorrow about this these aims. For example, this one. This is a three syllable word. How will be the pronounce of this? This word. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de esta palabra? Delicate. 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 
Uh -huh. Tenés, hagan fuerza que, que la lengua se sienta de, de, delicate. De, delicate. 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 The, the next one. Certificate. First of all, it's necessary to try to divide in the syllable. Cert, T, P, Kate. Four syllable. Certificate. 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 Nice. The next one is in hard mode, in modo difícil. Inconsiderate. Mm, uh -huh. Inconsiderate. 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 In no, in in yeah. In in Recuerden, but int aquí es una presión mucho más fuerte que con. Y aquí es una presión mucho más fuerte que in. Inconsiderate. 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 Perfect. Y this is a gift for you. Some of you guys ask me for tips for perfect English pronunciations. Y esto sí lo voy a explicar en español, señores, porque sí quiero que que lo tomen muy en cuenta. Muchos de los que, ejemplos que vemos ahí en la, en la picture, yo los hice, me duran mucho, y aún los sigo haciendo para poder incrementar mi pronunciación. No negaré que a veces hablo con eh, americanos y pues me dicen que tengo un acento. Pero a la misma vez es normal. Todos tenemos acentos. Ahora bien, no, que no te dé pena escucharte a ti mismo. Ustedes tienen, you, you have your cell phone, try to record by yourself. Also, try to do a slow down. Si vos te, te grabás y decís las palabras como despacio o las oraciones las decís partidas para luego decir el de corrido, van a tener una muy buena fluence and pronunciations. Try to figure it out in your mind that word with the picture. For example, cell phone. Imagínate tu celular. Computer. Try to think in, on your computer. Your desk. Try to think on your desk. Uh, how do you say uh, hijo? Try to think if you had hijos. Try to think in your son. And uh, son. Hija. Yeah, daughter. Also, another one. Cuando estén en el baño cepillándose antes de irse a dormir. Mírense el espejo y comiencen a pronunciar palabras que les cueste. O simple y sencillamente busquen un video donde parezcan diciendo esa palabra. Y fíjense en los movimientos de los labios. That picture I will send it to you tomorrow. I hope that it helped to you a lot. And I am showing this picture because... This is one of the most important aims in English. Because, let me show you that. Mm, yes. Can you see a difference between this and this? Pueden ver diferencia entre estos dos. The apostrophe, the apostrophe? La ubicación del apóstrofe? A little bit, but no. If I delete the apostrophe and the period, is the same one, but not the meaning. That's mean que con el, como podría decir, el stress on the word, tú le das un, un significado. Uno es un verbo, mira, la segunda columna, uno es un verbo y el otro es un noun. Mm -hmm. It's a rebel. Estás diciendo que él es un rebelde. Pero, he's a rebel. O sea, 
por eso es necesario que podamos manejar bien esto. Y se lo estoy diciendo en español, señores, porque sí podemos darnos a mal entender por no manejar esto. Le estaré enviando mañana videos y también más imágenes al respecto para que podamos nosotros practicar mañana. Por eso los he llevado ahora con un ritmo un poco acelerado. Because tomorrow we will practice a lot these aims. Teacher. Sí. Podría decir los 10 tips en español para... Claro, ¿Sí? claro. Eh, igual, enviaré la imagen mañana. Eh, te los diré, se los diré en español para que los encuentre en sentido, pero la finalidad okay. es hablar el inglés, señores. Tenemos que hablar más inglés en nuestras clases. Vale. Primero, escúchate a ti mismo. Grábate con tu teléfono, hablando en inglés. Que no te dé pena. Yo sé que al inicio nos va a dar vergüenza y va a ay, qué vergüenza, shame on me. Oh, no. Ah. But don't worry. Ponete, ponete, pónganse audífonos y ahí se escucha. Slow down. Procura pronunciarlo o hablarlo despacio y repetirlo varias veces para que vos podás irlo diciendo más rápido. Como lo hicimos ahora con la sentence en el primer video. Picture it. Imagínatelo. Relaciona las palabras en inglés con las figuras que realmente son. Computer. Thing on computer. A libel. Thing on a libel. Segundo. Mírate a ti mismo mientras habla. Cuarto, no, perdón, ese es tercero. No, tercero es, figúrate, cuarto es, haz ejercicios físicos con la boca. Quinto, mírate en un espejo. Sexto, escucha audios de expertos y videos viendo cómo ellos pronuncian y mueven sus labios al momento de pronunciar las palabras. Eso ayuda mucho. Segu séptimo, practica solo. Al inicio, practícalo. Cuando ya te sientas con un, un poco más de confianza, practica con un amigo o compañero con el que tengas confianza y que no sientes pena. Y que sepas que también maneja bien el inglés. Noveno, pon atención en la entonación de los fuerzas del estrés. Es lo que estamos viendo. Y como número 10, canten canciones que les gustan en inglés. Those are the 10 tips that help you to improve your English. Question, guys, before over this class. Thank you. You're welcome. Preguntas? No. Bueno, en este no. caso, guys, it was more than a pleasure to meet with you today. I know. I cannot, you cannot see well my, my face, <laughs> but it's not a problem. Okay, ha sido todo un placer tener esta clase con ustedes, señores. Pasen feliz noche, nos vemos mañana. Y les envío picture. Avance con la plataforma, guys. Adiós. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.